up, YouTube bro? How's it going? Yep, it's me, Tony Campos. So, uh, uh, there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about, but, uh, you know, life, life could be awesome, life could be okay, or life could be just miserable, though, you know? And it always has to be like, what is going on up here, though? Just think about the waves of emotion, the roller coaster, you know. But uh, first thing, though, is, uh, and I've probably said this before, but you know what? I'm just going to say it again. Never take things personally, though. I guess what I mean by that is if, let's say, you do a favor for somebody or you go out of your way of doing things, and they never say thank you or they never show their appreciation of what you did don't take it personally though you know maybe that's their way of just maybe of probably saying thank you though you know just just letting it be though you can't let that bother you you just got to be like all right it is what it is and then you just got to keep moving with life so i have been learning that though it is difficult it is difficult, well, you know, it's not easy, but uh, I feel like something was in my forehead. But, you know, the glasses got a glare, so I'm going to take them off. But, uh, yeah, that that's the truth, though. Um, I don't know how long that'll take me, though, because it's because I've taken a lot of things personally for many years, and uh, I felt like I've just been drinking the poison, though, and not you know, benefiting it from just saying, okay, well, should have done that or should have done that, and it's, um, it is tough, no, you know. but um, I have this strong belief that I can change that, and I can change that for the better, so, yeah, it just, <laughs> and then, well, second, uh, this past weekend, my aunt passed away. Um, my mom's oldest sister, though, she um, the family that lives up in New England, and I've you know visited them several times. But uh, the last several years, my contact with them has wasn't too good, and you know my aunt she was suffering from dementia, and you know it it just when, when you're when you know a loved one or someone that you really truly care about is suffering, you know, like dementia or like Alzheimer's, that is tough. That is really, really tough, though. And my family, at least that part of the family, they they seem to be handling it very well, and that's that's just awesome and great. And I'm proud to you know call them and have them be part of my family. And you know, speaking to my uh, one of my cousins, I'll probably be making a trip up there uh, next month, though. You know, celebration for life because they're playing an event to, you know, just uh, celebrate their life, though. And probably a good excuse to get everybody together, though, if if that's gonna happen. I don't know, but you know, it's well toward the end of October, though, so maybe. I mean, there's not really much stuff going on, though, and plane tickets are actually a pretty decent price, though. But who goes up there during, during October, though? I mean, I don't know unless sports teams are doing well, but... I... Um, you know, just kind of a touch note on that, that it's... Um, sometimes we just kind of, all of a sudden, just have this realization that... Oh, this one person who's in our lives was did these wonderful and great things, made everybody happy just about, and you know, also crazy. They're here one minute, and the next minute they're gone. You know, I've, I, could, I, I do have this story, and yes, I'm so glad I remember it because, well, I should remember it though. And this is just my whole thing when it comes to just being a good person and doing things for people and saying stuff. So my aunt, it was December 2005, 
My dad was working at the time. I was a senior in high school. I was slowly finishing up, and my mom was battling cancer. So a lot was going on, you know. I was just, you know, just turned 18, and, you know, I was just... I'm here. I'm, I'm trying to finish school. I'm trying to get finish up my credits, though, looking what colleges I apply. Well, that's stressing me out. You know, I'm trying to... I, I couldn't run because I was injured for cross country season and also bad grades. So, uh, and I'm trying to, you know, speak with friends and stuff, but you know, some people were doing their own thing and then my mom was sick. And so it's just like, man, just think about all these overwhelming shit for an 18 year old. And this was like my first time ever experiencing what anxiety is. Depre I mean, it's just like, Oh my God. But, um, my aunt, she, she came to visit for about a week, and um, boy, let me tell you, that was probably one of the best things that ever happened. I mean, yeah, it was a short, brief period, but the amount, the, the tremendous help that she was there to help around the house, you know, care for my mom though you know make sure I was trying to do my best in school you know seeing how my dad was doing it's just like <sighs> that I mean god willing I don't want to get Alzheimer's or dementia but I can't guarantee anything in life but as far as I know that my brain is good and sane I won't ever forget that you know that is just so ingrained in my brain and Oh man, I she was just a tremendous help, but and it was it was definitely pretty tough, especially for my mom because her health was declining a lot. Uh, but my aunt just being there, you know, I was like, it's my baby sister, you know. I don't, I don't want her to go now. I need it, you know. She has to be here, and you know, of course. I know the inevitable, you know, it's just, it's going to all happen to all of us, but, you know, it's just, uh, you know, happy when you're old and peaceful and quiet, but some of us ain't going to get that luxury, though. It was just not in the cards in this life. Maybe in the next life, or, or I don't know, whether you believe in reincarnation or not, but that's a whole other subject, and, and I could probably go on for hours talking about that. But what I just want to say is, and sometimes you just, um, you don't really truly realize how great some members are that were people in your life were and what they did. And then you have that self-realization. And then with people that surrounded all that, you realize all that once they leave. You're like, man, you know, I think it was several, it was a few years ago where um, Keanu Reeves was at the Stephen Colbert um, show, uh, the late night, the, the show Stephen Colbert, and um, he was again asked the question, what happens when you die? And uh, he had the perfect response, he's like, well, what he does know what happens when he dies, like your loved ones are going to miss you. And that even touched Stephen that touched Stephen Colbert like, oh my god, like that's the perfect answer. Like, I don't know what to say. That even freaking almost, mm, you know, when it hits you right in the fucking feels, man. You're just like, ah, and you almost want to shed a tear to it. So, but yeah, uh, it is true. It is true. I mean, people love my aunt and what a wonderful, great lady she was and everything else in between. And, um, I guess, how, how are you going to live your life, though? You know, it's like, yeah. I mean, you do what you do, do what you can. People, people appreciate it. Eh, maybe, maybe not. Some will, some won't. But you just got to keep just being that good person, though. And when it is your time, and hopefully, God willing, at least, <laughs> at least for me and, you know, people that I really care about, like, if we could all make it to old age, you know, peacefully and stuff, that I'll be great, though. And there could be the younger generations that will remember us you know, for the good things that we did, you know. That would be nice. Who knows? You know, I know when I go, 
I just want to be remembered for just being a good friend. You know, being probably just being a great friend. You know, I've I've had I have I've had my flaws, my insecurities. Have I lied before? Have I done this? Or have I done that? You know, I was like, yeah, of course. I mean, I'm still dealing with some certain bad vices, and I mean, who who isn't? I am no saint. Just don't, you know, but every day I try to, you know, just like, I just want to you know, live my life with meaning and purpose, you know, exercise, doing something that's better than doing nothing. Yep, I'm going to be preaching those for, for the rest of my life. And I just want people to remember that, like, Tony, this guy. And when he says he's going to do something, he does it, though, you know, or it's just like inspiring to be him or, you know, the way he carries himself and stuff like that. That's, yeah. <laughs> well, I try to not make this video too long, though, but. Sometimes we just want to talk and just talk and you're going to just keep talking and say stuff. Yeah, you know, maybe, uh, maybe just let it out. All right. Anyways, um, got much love for everybody who watches my video. If, uh, if you're new to the channel, you know, you could comment, subscribe or like, and I don't say that, but you know, it's, um, <laughs> Unless I had a short, and then the short would just be like attention, like crazy. But for no, but for people that do watch it and they comment or they say something positive and stuff, like I honestly, I appreciate that. I really do. So, all right. Till then, catch you guys later. Got much love for y'all.